Now, just to go over the key features of the system, we have the AI algorithms, front and rear people uh, detection uh, and driver safety. Now, with these algorithms, um, they're developed by Deere and we're constantly optimizing them for different environments. No warehouse is the same. Lighting conditions can be different, different aisles, sizes, etc. So we're constantly optimizing the AI algorithms to uh, make sure they operate in as broad conditions as possible. And we'll continue to do that as um, uh, we bring out more products into the market. Second um, key set of features is the wireless support. So with the system itself, we offer Wi-Fi and then also um, Bluetooth and GPS. In addition to that, um, we also do have optional support for a 4G module. We think, particularly as you move more to a cloud module uh, way of platform of uh, collecting data, is that uh, some warehouses have Wi-Fi, um, but more and more will be 4G and in the future 5G um, that will be a key technology there. So we're putting that upgradeability in the system. Then the system supports the three cameras and then you have the seven inch display. And here's just a closer look at the camera. Both the system hardware, the system itself, and also the cameras are all IP67 uh, rated, so they're, they're waterproof and can operate under pretty rigorous conditions. And then here's a look at the IO as well. Here's just uh, an overview of the options. We can take that out. One thing uh, that's very important is that there's no standard forklift design. Um, everyone is different from different manufacturers and even within different ma manufacturers, there are different models of the powertrain, etc. is designed in different ways. Now, of course, we've got also the added complexity of combustion engine um, uh, forklifts and electric powered ones, which are becoming increasingly popular in the market. So one thing we're doing a lot of work on is to ensure compatibility with as many different models as possible. We do a lot of testing in Taiwan and also work very closely with different customers that we're deploying with to ensure this compatibility. For the electrical, we do have a DC to DC converter as well, um, which supports up to, I think, pretty close to 100 volts. And um, that um, will be rolled out officially um, within the next month.